Into the Void Anime. Joey Bra. Ash. Back with some more Jujutsu Kaisen. This time we got Season 2, Episode 2, Hidden Ambitory 2. That's a lot of twos. Uh, last week was the great start to the uh, the second season, man. We we're taking it way back. Um, getting some personal time with our young Gojo, young Ghetto, and um, yeah, and a bunch of others, dude. The whole crew is there. Um, it's just crazy. It's crazy to see our now villain so playful, well mannered. Uh, well mannered, uh, Gojo. I feel like Gojo is more like kind of. I would the... probably assume at that point if one of them was gonna go bad. <laughs> yeah. Probably Gojo. Yeah, Gojo is the one being like, "Damn, man, it's we gotta save all these weak ass people." What happened? Who hurt you? <laughs> I know, and uh, and yeah, the tables have turned, dude. So uh, yeah, we're just getting into it though. It was a good introduction episode. Uh, oh, dude, the huge, the huge twist at the end. We meet our boy Megami's father, dude. Um, out of nowhere, he's the yoked out dude that we've been just wondering. We're who just the hell ass- is he? We're still assuming, but like the pieces are there. Yeah, that's his dad. <laughs> I mean, all fingers are pointing to. Yeah. You are the father. <laughs> you are the father. Um, yeah, but I'm sure we're going to find out right here, right now. So let's just get into it. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 2. Let's go. Oh. Hmm. In that broken building we were just at. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god, this freaking... I like the noise it's making. Yeah, this curse. <laughs> oh. oh. I love the peace <laughs> sign. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, my boy's a gambler. Oh, I thought he was slipping him off. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This poor man. Oh. <laughs> so maybe he's still, uh... Growing his technique. Yeah. He's not quite the Gojo we know currently. Oh. Shit! It's so sad. Like, if you've ever, like, lost a friend, like, whether it's, like, you know over petty drama or you guys aren't getting along or like you just had a falling out or you know for any reason yeah i feel like this hits for anyone who's like kind of yeah had to deal with that i i agree you know the op is happy but very sad the ed is very sad but also kind of happy happy, yeah because you're seeing all these moments okay well damn dude what a great second episode of the season so, Loved Megumi's it. dad, what a, what an absolute piece of fucking human garbage. <laughs> like, not only, you know, it, he was kind of, like, hesitating when when he was asked, like, how's Megumi yeah. doing? And it seemed like maybe he was either trying to, I don't know, maybe he's, like, emotionally inept. Mm-hmm. Where he's just trying to distance himself from that because it's painful. Yeah. Or he's just completely just a uh, like deadbeat. Dead to it. Yeah. Um, I kind of agree. I think it could go either way. I think the hesitation there gives me a little hope that he is uh, maybe distancing himself to keep them safe or something like that. Since he's it, he's the freaking sorcerer. What a sa- sorcerer killer. That's like his nickname, I guess, is mm-hmm. what they called him. So. Uh, I would say maybe for your family's safety, you have to kind of just distance yourself from them or not let everybody in that close. I don't know. Uh, but that's me being like optimistic yeah, <laughs> that, he's a, that he's a good guy. I, I, besides the fact, even if he's a 
good dad, he's a bad dude. Yeah. For sure. I mean, he's, yeah. He seems to be a little slimy, uh, placing all his money on, on gambling and kind of just, uh, yeah, taking these jobs to uh, murder. Basically just an assassin. You know, that's the way he makes his living. Yeah. So I want to know why he, I really want to know the history of maybe why he's not sending, you know, mm-hmm. like what what happened there. Uh, if it was his own doing or... No, no, the family does seem to just be strict because, uh, what's her name? Maki was going through that same kind of stuff, right? Um, kind of being, like, pushed aside from the inner family, mm-hmm. right? Like, she wasn't being fully, like, taken seriously. Or they're just really, yeah. it seems like a really strict thing going on. So I, I want to know if he was pushed out or if he was just this bad that, yeah, he just left. I, I don't really know. Maybe he was, a, he was the disgrace of the family. Could be. Could be something like that. I, I I'm sure we get it here, um, because this does seem like the only time to really bring up Megami's father here, so that'll be sick to see. It does make sense for Megami to be the way that he is, now seeing his father. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Yeah. because even when we, the the crazy part is, is like when, now correct me if I'm wrong, internet, but when Gojo does meet Megami for the first time, and he says like, yeah, your parents uh, left you or something like that mm-hmm. for, uh, I forget exactly what he said, but it did seem it wasn't just like a, it didn't seem like uh, Gojo knew them or anything like that, right? And obviously they're going to have close ties here. Gojo might even be the one to kill mm-hmm. him or something like that. Maybe um, that's why he feels such a yeah you know, drive to like help him. Yeah, and that's what, um, yeah, I'm wondering. Because I think his, yeah, his version telling Megami was just like, uh, your parents left you, and they wanted to pursue. They wanted to just take off or something. Um, yeah, I really like this, man. I really like how this is going. It's so, like, it's so hard for me to, like, watch this guy that we know is bad and is, like... I like him so much. I do. It's too. so hard to him. not like yeah. him because he's just so, like, charismatic. Yeah. And level-headed. And just, he just seems genuinely, he just seems genuine, you know? Yeah. He seems fine. Like, yeah, fine. I mean, I don't know. And, like, their friendship seems, like, pretty good. (gasps) They're joking with each other. I would say the only, like, darkness that he sounded, like, was the first episode, the start. Like, when it was just him talking and we had, like, the little, like, how disgusting it is to eat a cursed spirit and stuff. Like, that's the Mm -hmm. only time he sounded kind of dark. Um, But that was, like, the pre, that was, like, leading up to, like... I don't know. It was it was just in a position to make it sound dark, anyways. But it wasn't really saying anything bad. He he just sounded more negative than uh, he does currently. Yeah. Um, I like the direction of it. I like the music that they're playing. I feel like it's a. Uh, I don't know. I just like. You sounded whole... like you were about to cry right now. <laughs> playing. I like, <laughs> I like the, the like violin stuff there in the horse races, and then like just how the whole shift changed when we were fighting that old man too. It was like angelic. Mm-hmm. Um, that's like the direction they're taking <laughs> that it. That fight it's really with that nice. old man got my ass so good. Man, his life flash in front of his damn eyes. I thought for sure that, you know, that giant worm caterpillar mm-hmm. thingy, like, got him, yeah. you know? He's a sneaky little man. Only for a little bit, though. <laughs> he Not didn't do long. too great after that. Um, yeah, as soon as we saw as soon as he was like, I haven't seen you in 50 years to the dog, I was like, oh, he's dead. I thought he was dead <laughs> at that moment. I was like, oh, he literally just died in a second. But, well, that's not the worst thing to see when you go out, you know? No, it was a nice like, image. that would be like... Yeah. And then oh. we, it flashed to him just getting his ass whooped so bad. Yeah. I think he's alive, but he got... He knew. He knew he could have been dead right there. Um... Yeah, nothing more to say. I mean, I really like where this is going. Rico? Rick, mm-hmm. Rika? Is that her name? Rico? It's not Rika. It's Rick. Rico. Rico. Yeah. I like her a lot. She's a little sassy. I think so. Um, Rico? Rico? Rico nasty? Yeah, because Rika was in the prequel, right, with our boy. That was the girl. Rika was that one. The kiss. Yeah. <laughs> you know which one she was. Yeah. Uh, either way, I like her a lot. She's down with getting absorbed into Tengen. She's just Which like, is so weird. I don't like, understand. Yeah. She's like, we live, you know, like my will is still there. My heart's still there. Yeah, but like it would still be there if you were alive that's, too. That like, is true. There, that, there's that option. That is true. You know? But and maybe it's, it's like, yeah. They must have hyped it up to be a pretty great honor to take, uh, to, 
to be absorbed by Tengen. I mean, you're getting Tengen, the same perks as, you know, your your currently like that you currently life. have. Yeah. So it's like, why change if it's going to be more of the same? Maybe she feels yeah. like you know glad to be the chosen one. That it just lined up. Yeah, and maybe. She's the, you know what? Yeah, maybe they did hype it up to be. Yeah, like, some crazy yeah, thing. It's one in a million, and you're the one. Uh, but yeah, he I does do live like forever, him. doesn't he? Yeah, he's he just, just continuous. Yeah, but still, and, it's like. <sighs> and he is like controlling. They said like he controls all the like barriers around Jujutsu High and all the like everything's run by him. So mm-hmm. I could I could see them hyping it up again. Like you're gonna be, you know, part yeah. of the, the best entity out here. And plus, she doesn't have family, and, like, yeah, it seems like... She's probably a little sad, a little sad girl. Yeah, on the inside. So. But right now, she's quirky and funny. <laughs> but we'll see. I hope she lives forever. I hope she lives forever. Yeah, like, oh, In man. one way or another. Only a few, yeah, like, it's crazy, because we only have, I think, three more episodes of this arc, and then we take a break, and then we go straight into, I think it's called Shibuya arc. Mm-hmm. Um, Everyone was hyping this up. Shibuya arc. Shibuya arc's gonna be crazy, man. From just from what I've heard from yeah. like, the hype of it. I don't know anything nuts. about it other than fucking just yeah. like let's fucking go. Let's fucking Everyone go. <laughs> keeps saying that. But yeah, but with that, we only have three episodes of hidden inventory left, and um, I have a lot. We have a lot of explanation to go. Still, why is our boy bad? What happens to Rico and uh, Megami's dad? What the fuck happens? So I think the last three here are gonna be pretty jam packed. Uh, and uh, yeah. I got no complaints, so I'm very <laughs> excited. I'm very happy to see Kaizen's back. I love this Me show too. so much, man. It's so good. Yeah. All right. Uh, that'll be it for this week. Thank you guys for dropping by. Give us a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. In the void anime. Ash. Joey Bra. Peace.